Said, hey, Mr. God, a darn spell. You can change somebody's world today. He grinned and said, what makes you think the weather's time so tough that I would give my money away? I could give up, yeah, I could leave it right there. But my heart is burning with a thought I gotta share. 30,000 children on the fire will be gone today. This is really crazy. This is definitely different, I have to say. Um, I'm kind of excited uh, because you kind of don't know what's going to happen. As far as the food goes, I think I can handle that. That I don't think that's going to be a problem. Plus, I'm on a diet anyway, so this is like really works for that. See, kids at this age really wanting to come together and do what's right. And do it for Christ and serve Him. And really touches my heart to see them come together like this. I hope that, that this year's famine will calm down some of the other kids as it did to the kids last year and that after the famine they'll just grow together as a group even more and welcome in the new kids and we'll just keep geared up to do this again next year. I'm really looking forward to being able to see what like homeless people are light when they're sleeping in cardboard boxes and I just really want to have time spent with friends without like parents and besides April. I'm not really excited about the famine and at least for doing this for a good cause. So. Yeah, it's probably going to be hard for me because I like to eat. Going 30 hours is going to be really hard. And serving food, not being able to eat any, that will be really hard too. But I think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can. I have high expectations for this. The kids set a lofty goal of what they were going to try to raise. And 
think they're going to do. This is the easy part in the beginning, that's for sure. It's definitely the easy part when you're not actually hungry yet. But we'll get to that, and we're going to get hungry, and we're going to know what it's like. And it's going to make a difference, and it's going to affect the people that are doing this. Feeling hungry is hard to do, really. I mean, hard to be. I can't believe those kids got to do it every single day. I can. 30 hours is really hard. Hopefully, this year's pizza will be just as good as last year's. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about the payment. I don't know what to expect. I haven't done this before. This is very, I guess, scary, you would say, because. 30 hours without food is a long time, and I can't imagine how people in the third world countries, the children, would now feel they go days without food. So I'm glad to be here helping them. I'm glad my mom is d doing this with me because I don't think I could do it without her. She would be, she's my mentor. Third hour famine really motivates me into helping other kids and making me think about how lucky I am to have so much here to just be able to get food whenever I want it. It's really made me stronger with Christ and it's really helping me be a better person at home and at church and everywhere else. I just thank the Lord that this is our opportunity to do something about it. Um, we have a chance to help and through this famine, it, through this, our fast, through our, our abstaining from food and raising money to help that just is a blessing on my heart and I just want to, I'm just thankful that I'm part of it. Uh, this is our second year uh, doing 30 hour famine and last year we, uh, we had two and uh, it looks like this year we're, we're running close to close to 10 or 11, uh, maybe 12, uh, with some other kids that will be joining us. The main thing I'm looking for is uh, to build a, a cohesive group, you know, a group that will work together and, uh, and do it for all the right reasons. I'm hoping that, you know, this 30-hour famine will, will touch them in a way that, uh, you know, only, only God can. Um, that they'll they'll see people's struggles in a, in a different light and will it'll melt their heart. Yeah, we want to have a heart like Jesus and that in doing this uh, we're trying and exemplifying what Jesus was all about and, and what his love was about.